Hi everyone, to the bone, this is Darcy and today I'm going to share with you guys my nighttime routine and also some beauty tips for the evening to prevent wrinkles and smooth the ones you already have. So if you want to hear more about it, keep on watching. Before we get to the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now let's get to it. Nighttime is really important for your skin because that's usually when your skin cells regenerate and that is a really good time to put a very good cream or do a nighttime routine that actually becomes quite effective. So I often find myself not even doing a morning routine, but always doing a nighttime routine. One of the first most important thing that I found that you can do for your beauty and to prevent wrinkles for the nighttime is to sleep on your back. Imagine sleeping eight hours with your face smushed, smushed up. That is really bad for your skin. And as you get older and you start losing collagen, the wrinkles start setting. If years and years of sleeping on your face, the lines become permanent. And I am a side sleeper. So for me, it has been extremely challenging. I tried training myself. I tried different pillows and nothing worked. So then I really researched in 2012 for a beauty pillow and I try many many different brands until I found one that I love so much and I've been using since 2012 and that really really helped especially because I was developing a lot of uh, this mouth to mouth to nose lines it was super deep at the time in 2012 and I found that just by sleeping on this uh, wrinkle pillow it smoothed it out and it didn't make it worse and also my side wrinkles what I like about this pillow is that one is silk and the other one is the shape I love the shape of it because I'm a side sleeper so when I sleep on the side I usually do this and then the pillow prevents my face to smooching itself the, even though it's kind of worn out, it still works, and I take it to trips, I take it overseas, I take it anywhere I go. I even took it when I had my baby, I took it to the hospital, because I cannot sleep without this pillow. I, I know it doesn't look like much, but it's amazing. Then my husband used to steal it from me all the time, <laughs> And my husband doesn't care about wrinkles, but he likes it that it's comfortable. He likes the, the way it shapes to his neck. So I end up buying one for my husband and he is the blue one. And he's been using it for five years. And to be honest, it has really helped his skin as well. Leave the name of the pillow in the description box below. I forgot the name of the brand, but it is called the anti-wrinkle pillow. That one is really comfortable so much that my husband enjoys it. And again, not sponsored. I bought this in 2012. I highly recommend this pillow. The next thing that is essential for me is a night mask. So it's this mask has a claim that is really good for wrinkles because it's made of a special material like a copper material and supposedly even though you get washed that you don't lose the skincare benefits to be completely honest what i love about this mask is the shape and the softness and it doesn't hurt that it claims to have skincare benefits if you don't care too much about this particular mask i suggest you try to get a sleeping mask that is silk based so it doesn't rub or wrinkle your face. I also take this on planes. So I love, love, love this mask. And the brand is called Illuminage. Now let's get into a little bit of my actual nighttime routine. I, I changed it around, but the things I'm gonna talk about is the things that I've been doing currently. So first of all, I like to start with a double cleanse. And to do a double cleanse, I mentioned in a few, few videos, I actually put the link in the description box of the video that I talk about, the double cleanse method. And it works really well to remove impurities and makeup. I feel like it's very, very cleansing and relaxing so I use olive oil sometimes I use avocado oil so I just put it all over my face and then I sometimes I take that time to actually do a face massage with gua sha which I also have a video that talks about it I'll put the link in the description box and I usually do a moist towel a warm moist towel and I remove all the oil and I think it's one of the things I get questioned a lot about that method is you have to remove all the oil it is important to do this moist warm towel on top of it because that kind of opens your pores and cleanse it and also remove the excess oil so that way you're left not with greasy skin but just with just a supple and sometimes I don't even put a moisturizer because I find that that should be enough for my skin for the night depending of my time wise or schedule or sometimes I do that a couple times a week and I add some more things, but that is a really good method if you have the time to do it because you do a face massage and also do a deep cleanse. And if you have any makeup, it really helps to take 
all the makeup, even waterproof mascara. So I use olive oil, sometimes I use avocado oil, but use the oil that works best for you. And you can use the massage tool that works best for you. I love the Gua Sha, I talked about it before, and I think it's a really good way to relax the skin, prevent wrinkles. The next step usually is I love doing eye masks. I love eye masks, I find it super relaxing. I usually do them when I'm brushing my teeth. So I just put the eye mask on, and start brushing my teeth, get ready for the evening. And then sometimes again, sometimes that is enough for me and I just go to bed or sometimes I do more things. But a few of the masks I like, I mentioned before, I still use the Pachology, Pachology mask and it is, this is the Restoring Night Eye Gels. This is the nighttime one. I have a few videos with reviews. I'll post the link on the description box below if you want to see the full review, but I still use it and I still love them. As you can see, I'm almost running out. I particularly like the Pachology one, uh, but there's so many different ones in the market right now. So I guess you can just do whatever ones you enjoy, or sometimes I try different ones at night too, but I always find myself coming back to this one because it's just easy and I just put it in and, and it works in five minutes. So I like about this one too, that it has a five minute, I don't have to spend too long on it. And it's quick, easy, brush my teeth, boom, took it out, I'm done. So after I do the mask, I take it out and I usually put a serum on my skin. I've been really enjoying this one from Ordinary. Is the Argeriline Solution 10%. I also like the Skin Deva one that is also Argeriline, but I ran out of that one and I bought this from the Ordinary at Sephora because I wanted to try it out and they work very well as well. But the Skin Deva is a very good one too. So all you need is a couple of... Um, drops and I put it usually on my eye area, I put it on my forehead and whatever's left, I put it here. Uh, what Argeriline does, it's really helpful for relaxing the muscles and deep set wrinkles. So it's kind of like, a, it gives you the Botox effect basically, but without all the needles and all that. But I do find that this works amazing. And I must confess, when I use it, it works amazing, but sometimes I'm in a hurry, and again, a lot of the stuff I mentioned to you, sometimes I do it every night, sometimes I do it a couple times a week, it really works on how long, how much time I have. But if I had all the time in the world, I would do it all in a sequence. But sometimes I skip the step or, you know, another step, but I'm just giving the things that has worked for me. So when I do use this daily at night, I find amazing results, and I even look at myself in the mirror in photos that I smile and almost looks like I had Botox because all my wrinkles look a lot relaxed. So Argeriline is a really, really good alternative for Botox, or if you do use Botox, is a really good alternative to extend the life of Botox. Since I don't use Botox yet, I use Argeriline, line and I find that it does the job for me of relaxing the wrinkles and other masks that I do. My DIY mask does help with that too. This one is a really quick one to insert anytime routine. You can use day and night, but again, I only use it at night and it still works. So I highly, highly recommend. And then after I do the serum, I usually do put the wrinkle corrector from IOP, the ones I've been, I've, I mentioned a different video. I've been using it, I really like it. It's not term to retinol. It's the wrinkle corrector 2500. And I use this usually on the eye area, but I'm starting to put it on my forehead as well as the lines around here too. I never was an eye cream person. Now that I'm older, I'm finding that my eye area gets really dry and that didn't happen before. And that happens, I notice a lot when I'm doing my makeup if and I put a concealer, before I ne have a never problem with creasing, I never had any problems with dryness, but now I have uh, such a hard time. So when I'm using the screams, I don't have problems, but when I'm not using, I have a hard time. So as you get older, your eye area becomes a lot drier. So if you're in your 40s, I highly recommend using a serum and an eye cream, but if you're younger, you can do it to prevent but it really depends on your skin. But I might do another video about eyes specifically, anti-wrinkling for eyes. If you want that, make sure to comment below because I'm always trying different things and I have other things I can talk about, but I don't wanna make this video super long. But since it's a nighttime routine. But um, if you want more about eyes, make sure to comment below. So after I finish the eyes, I usually finish with a moisturizer all over my face to just seal it in, but lately, if I'm doing the double cleansing method, I don't usually moisturize because I find my skin is moisturized enough. And I like leaving that uh, either the olive oil or the avocado oil overnight to do its magic. But when I don't do the double cleansing method, I usually find a good moisturizer to put on top. One that I'm really enjoying right now and I have a sample of it, I'm really, really in love because I actually ran out of the, I had a drunk elephant one that I love that I purchased multiple times is the Protini one. I still use that, but I ran out. So I got this sample from the 
mDNA skin is called Reinvention Cream. This is a sample that has been lasting me for the longest time. But I'm so in love that I'm highly considering purchasing. It's kind of on the expensive size, but so is the Drunk Elephant Pertini. And that one works amazing, but this one I find more moisturizing for me now that I'm older. And the sample is lasting so long. This brand, MDNA Skin, is actually was a skincare line made by Madonna. This is actually a really good skincare line. All the products that I try, the samples, I'm in love, but they're super expensive. But their Invention Cream is actually the cheaper one in the line. It's $75. I know it's like insane. But the Proctini is also up there in price. So right now I'm using the sample. I'm really contemplating now that the holidays are coming up, maybe asking my husband to get me for the holidays. I have another sample one and um, I'm highly considering because I see results. It's a cream, but it's in a gel form and absorbs so quickly to the skin. It's amazing. And it has like a, a lot of amazing skincare benefits, it's supposed to be super anti-aging and I love it. I've been really enjoying much more than the Drunk Elephant one. And I have another sample um, that I got too, because I got a, I got something from them. I actually got a roller from them, which I'm gonna make a video about it. I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna show a little bit, but I'm not gonna talk about it on this video. But I'm really starting to fall in love with this brand of skincare. I don't hear many people talk about it because it is kind of like up there in price. But to be honest, I try La Mer, I try La Prairie, I try other skincares that were super expensive. I try samples, okay? I never actually took the plunge of buying a $300 cream, like La Mer, but I got samples and broke me out, didn't work out, and they were super expensive. This one is $75, and I saw results with one night. Like, I, I woke up and my skin was, like, super smooth. Even my husband said, like, wow, your skin looks so nice. So, like, this sample has come a long way and I'm seriously considering asking for the holidays. Again, I said usually in the evenings when I do face massages, I love my gua sha, but I have both face rollers, and this is the newest one, but I had before the big roller for MDNA. This one is the newest one, it's for the eye area, and I also do it in the evening, and you just do 10 times this way, and 10 times this way, and then you're done, and this one I do it 10 times this way, 10 times this way, 10 times this way, and then I do like that, and then I also do it on my neck. But I'll make a whole video about this too. But again, you don't need these tools for a nighttime routine. You can also use a gua sha, you can use a, a jade roller, you can use any tool you want for massages. But this has really made a difference and I really, really like the technology that it was put in with this. Not many people talk about it, but it's made in Japan and it has like a car special carbon technology that makes it almost, give this infrared so it infuses your your skincare anyway i'm not going to talk too much about this i actually was not even going to mention this video but i'll just mention really quickly and i will do a whole dedicated video so i can show you what it does how to do the routine and all that not sponsored i have i bought it myself and i'm still paying for it but those are amazing i really really love it i use all throughout my pregnancy you can also use in your body and this one i just got more recently and it's they just came out with this one for the eye area but i find this too outstanding and that was my introduction to the mdna skincare the last thing i do is put a lip mask and that's it and then i go to bed and this one is from laneige i mentioned also before in favorites and i still use it is the lip sleeping mask i use quite a lot of it i'm almost done and i love that it comes with this little tool so you can get it put it on your lips and it's amazing. So I still use this one and it, it's lasting me for a long time. I just put it on my lips and it's moisturized and it tastes good. And I usually find that when I do it, especially in the winter, my lips are not chapped. I actually have been skipping a couple of times because again, this routine I'm giving to you guys is my ideal routine, but I don't often follow every day. I do a few times a week whenever I have some time. But when I do it, I see results. That's why I'm sharing with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.